guys Augs here the bloody international break is finally over Jorginho and the Italy national team are qualified for Euro 2020 and after that Jorginho went personally to talk to the Pope and I hope he talked to the Pope about our injury situation we need a lot of prayer for this team if you know a imam you know a pastor a priest or whatever you believe in ask them to pray for this team because the curse from somewhere we don't know who is spelling curse on chelsea's player but you know what we are going to come stronger and better out of this during this international break we lost Kova, Christensen, Rhys James, Angolo Kante. On loan, we lost Chaloba, Ampadu, Zappa Costa, Danny Drinkwater, Charlie Musonda, and long term injuries that we have already Ruben Loftus Chick, Emerson, Rudiger. The list is very long, and you can even remind me few others that i might forget on top of my head not only from the international break but in general chelsea been very unlucky this season back home at cobham training center we only had like four senior player left during this international break so it's impossible for Frank Lampard to walk with four players so he gave them a mini vacation to just relax and come back because you can't even play five aside with four players right there were also a couple of players from the academy and everybody else first team academy everybody was gone it's crazy how many players from Chelsea are on international duty Rhys James and few other guys been walking out at the gym so it looks like it's not that bad for Rhys James maybe he was taken off as a precaution which is a good news and N'Golo Kante didn't play both games with friends he got injuries during the warm-up but I won't take any chance if they still feel something i will give them as much time as needed for them to recover 100 percent because we need them against ajax and other uh, games in the future so we can just try to cope with uh, the game against uh, newcastle on saturday for the rest of the team some of them will be back on wednesday but the majority of players will come back on Thursday. That means they have no time to prepare for the Saturday game. They will only have some recovery sessions and that is going to be very tough for the team because Newcastle didn't have many players on international teams. So they had the time to prepare and get ready for the game on Saturday. For Chelsea, it's going to be very hard. Jet lags, fatigue and injuries. I suspect Ross Barkley will start on Saturday. That's how bad it is at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. Newcastle, they are coming to the bridge to try to do the Spurs. Remember they won against the Spurs and also beat Man United. So they will try to keep the momentum and try to win at the bridge. Anyways, more news to come in the following hours. But until then, stay cool just like N'Golo Kante and always think outside the box.